What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. In my estimation, Tina Knowles is a hellraiser. A hellraiser is somebody that puts a black man through torture inside of a marriage. And the torture is repetitive and it's daily. And there's a lack of sex, a lack of love, a lack of parity, and you're just a prisoner inside of a long, dusty marriage. Tina Knowles is a great example of a hellraiser, in my honest opinion. Then there is Tia Maori, who was married to Corey Hardrick. Now, at least in Tina Knowles, formerly Tina Knowles, Tina Lawson, she would at least change her last name. Tia Maori didn't even respect this guy to change her last name. In fact, it was already a red flag that she married an up and coming at the time actor of Corey Hardrick. And then, you know, as they were building up together and all that stuff, he wasn't doing very well, but he became a man that grew into something. Then how did she play it out? She filed for divorce. The guy didn't want the divorce. He wanted to still be married. Now, this is a guy who a lot of women find attractive. <clears throat> when the wife wanted to divorce him, he took it on the chin. She was even liking posts that was disrespecting him. The man never said a mumbling word, just like Jesus, right? That's the song we sing back home. He never said a mumbling word. He, he, he held it on like nobody's business. Tia Maori then went on and started making thirst trap videos on Instagram and on Twitter and TikTok. You know, didn't you see her? She was there looking extra crazy, extra dusty, trying to get some attention to herself. And wasn't nobody buying it. She was looking foolish. People started roasting her. So now what is she trying to do? She's ready to get back on the dating scene. She's terrified and nervous to find love again. Okay. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just do this. Okay. Cause she's posting all these videos on TikTok, you know, trying to look very sexy look very nice the same thing that tracy ellis ross does and what like i, I would just have to think that a lady like tia maori she still looks good don't get me wrong but there are certain things that she would be needing in a mate okay and that guy has to be a a, a, a good looking have some money be doing top five percent earning guy and I want to read you what she has put on Instagram, right? Let me just read this. Fun fact, I've never been on the dating scene my entire life. So when I tell you I'm nervous and terrified of doing this whole dating thing, I mean it. Even though I'm in my 40s, I feel so inexperienced. And while it'll be easy to throw in the towel and avoid the potential for awkwardness and hurt, I know God got me. So if you're feeling apprehensive about new experiences, just know you got this and we're in this together. Basically, you're out here advertising. You're desperate. Advertising. You don't, you don't want to go to Tinder. You're advertising. Do you know how sad it is for you to advertise like that? It means you have nobody checking for you. Nobody. N-O-B-O-T-Y. You thought it was going to be easier on the other side. You filed for divorce. You thought it was going to be hot girl summer. It's been 10 months. Now you feel... Like you're ready to start dating again. Here's the issue. Who's ready to date you? You know, well, I don't know why ladies think like, you know what? I'm ready to start getting dating again. And the whole dating market is going to be like, well, damn, we're so glad you got here. <laughs> Woo. Jesus Christ, girl, where you been? I've been waiting for you to get here all my life. Shit, you, I'm glad you're here, girl. Damn. Now we all need to stop and just witness your greatness. This, this is this is great. You, you finally gonna be in, uh, uh, up in this thing, her? Huh? Oh man, this is man, this is woo. 
Good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Tia Mara is here. So I get to be like third fiddle in her life. This is great, man. This is woo. Woo. This is what a player was looking for to be third fiddle. Yeah, this is great. Thank you, Jesus. I never knew that this was going to happen, but it happened. All the successful men that you wasn't thinking about when you was married, all of a sudden, they want to give up their advantage because you there. Don't it make sense? You know, because Tia Mowry's here. Let me let me just stop. I don't know why ladies think that. You know, you you, you, been, you, you know now you didn't been to school. You're tired now. You're ready. Okay, yeah, it's time for us to start. You know, like just just paying homage. If you don't sit your ass down someplace, well, who do you think you are? Because every guy that you want, that's somebody special, that's somebody in this world, that man understands, number one, <clears throat> you're not changing your ways. If you're already divorced, we can see why and how you acted during that treatment, during that agreement, okay? Okay. You were disrespectful to your ex-husband. You didn't change your name. That your life revolves ultimately around you. You have no parity. Like you don't want to be able to, you know, contribute nothing to a man's life in that in that area. In that area. <clears throat> you insulted him. You basically said you were tired of carrying him the whole relationship. Okay? So what man wants to walk into that? You don't have time. You have your career. You're not going to make any sacrifices for somebody else. And what do they get by dealing with you? That's the best one right there. Oh, my God. What are they going to get? You know what? Let me stop dating somebody who is younger and who fits into my life so I can fit into Tia Mowry's life with her two kids. And then get into a baby daddy type situation so I can end up like Richard Lawson. That makes sense. Like, yeah, I want to do that. That's great. Who wants to who wants to get involved in that type of stuff? This is great. This is this is what a lot of guys are looking for, right? I want to imagine I'm a man. I've done very well for myself. This is what I want. I want to be a second fiddle to somebody like you. Come in and not call any kind of shots for the relationship. I need to be on your program because that is just so great for me. Like, I never thought about that before. Take your ass somewhere and sit down, please. Says no black man ever. No black man with any respect wants to put up with that. Never at any point at any time. Who wants to deal with that? Can you go somewhere and sit down? All the way down, by the way. All right. You think you thought it was so easy. Let me tell you something. When you have a good mate, a really good mate, women or men, but definitely men, it's hard to replace a good mate. Even if you have problems with them, it's hard. You got to go through that, you know, that, that situation where you do the, the, the mate that you had before, they put you at the top of the food chain. But now the chick you're dealing with now or the guy you're dealing with now, you gotta start all over again. They ain't got no dedication to you, connection to you. And now you gotta go out there and compete against the whole entire world. A lot of ladies think that y'all gonna be coming out swinging the bat. Cause you got some likes on Instagram, you know, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you got likes on Instagram, people telling you you look beautiful in your dress. It's a lot of guys who would want to have you. You forget there are millions of other ladies who have what you have, if not more. I know ain't nobody supposed to tell y'all that, but let me tell it to you, okay? Nobody's gonna be sitting there waiting for you to get into the dating market because you're there. And then, you know, well, the thing is, well, he needs to prove himself to me before he meets my kids. I mean, I get you wanna protect your kids, but it, that's not like something a guy is really looking forward to, especially if he don't have kids. Like what? Like, like what is he getting? And then when y'all look at, this is not really a good thing for our guy. You want to get mad, but it's not. 
a guy is not going to get anything from dealing with all of this stuff. This is crazy. These guys don't get anything. All right. Usually. A guy is going to be out there spending time to be at best last place in a relationship. Why does a guy need to be last place? Where? It doesn't make sense. At all. I wish I would go somewhere and sit down thinking like that. Do you even understand what the market even want? Yeah, I know y'all don't even care. So I don't even know why I asked you that. I know y'all don't care. It's obvious that you just don't. When I'm listening to what some women are saying, it's obvious that women just do not give a damn what these guys want to do. It's just, it's just, it's clear as day. And then you, you get hit with that rude awakening and, and it's like, okay, it's, it's bad. It, it doesn't look good. It's quite dusty over here. Yes, it, 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 it is dusty. It is. And then so many ladies have a good husband, have a good man. And then you find out the market is not what you think it is because you're competing against so many different competitive people out here. White women, Asian women, other black women, mixed women, all of which want the same guy that you want. And you think because it's you that everybody in the world is supposed to just be like, you know what, you know, you're here. Let me just stop what I was doing, you know, and come talk to you until it doesn't happen. Which it, and, and it never does. It's okay. I know you mad. It's not my fault. But guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do, Scared the Bell. We're out.